Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Yan Bai Hu campaign. This is episode 12. We pick it up from turn 75 in the summer season of 209. So, a uh, quick look at the map before we jump back in. Uh, we got into this messy coalition with Shi Xie when I realized Empire's better because then we don't have to conquer them and their territory would count towards our victory condition. Uh, but we'll try to get that fixed with time. Uh, right now, the most urgent thing is wipe out uh, this faction here and then sail down the Pearl River and take down Shi Wu's last two remaining territory. Maybe three. This one might be his too. Uh, but that's basically our main concern before the mercenary t contract expires. Uh, it's still nine turns. We're fine. Uh, we're going to waste a turn taking care of this mess. Uh, we're going to end in our territory. Now the problem with infinite loot from Sima Yi is infinite travel by minus 25% campaign movement range. Which blows. Um, but... We can't do much about that. So maybe we actually just want to just try to get as close as we can. No need to heal. Uh, we have a level up. One of our uh, administrators who is a burnt. Wait, wait, wait. He, you should not be. I mean, just because you have, ex uh, yeah, just because they have this industrial exploitation doesn't mean they should be sitting on the bench. But then again, we have tons of characters sitting on the bench. Uh, we're not really abusing. Uh, our Burin officers as much. There's really no need. Uh, we're already pretty broken. Uh, Sun Tzu can have that. We'll just look at him. We have infinite, yeah, we have infinite loot now. Just really broken. Um, so we're just going to keep an eye on their capital for our eventual war with Yuan Shu. Um, over here, we might set Sima Yi up in the army. I'm thinking about the army of Sima Yi, Xia Houdun, and maybe some other general. Maybe the girl who's a burnt officer, double burnt, uh, go for a range comp with some, uh, you know, Emperor uh, units. I don't know what they'd be doing though. I guess they can launch the naval assault early. But then we have to recall him. Yeah, that's kind of messy actually. Alright, we'll end Huang Zhu first. He has the army outside, but still. We'll take his land. Alright, this is definitely a level 4 ish. But I don't want to repair. Because repair actually makes you wait a turn. This I can just pay for it. Well, actually, this we don't actually need to focus on income. Yeah, there's not much income here. I'd rather go with research rates for these non income generating ones. So Huangzhou's army slipped somewhere over here. We don't know where. They'll come suicide somewhere for sure. Jilin's working for Liu Biao. Interesting. Cao Cao's clearly kicked Liu Biao out of the north. I do want to get into a good relationship with him, but we got to end the contract for that to happen. Ooh, this army is legit. Gongdu is working. So, Yellow Turban's working for Han factions. That's something that's really weird going on right now. Uh, he became a champion. I mean, it's a good sign this is eventually possible because Gongdu joins Liu Bei historically. Um, but right now, I would say this is just a bug. And of course, 77 year old Huang Zhong is still alive. Alright, they're spying on them, they're holding them down. What should we be doing? I might just recruit him just so that he can be on uh, loot duty and then we're gonna recall him and then recall Xia Houdun as well we're gonna get these guys onto the battlefield and then we're gonna raise the guy who we just recruited and is useless and we don't care about his units and he'll just loot. 
We could pick another guy out. Ooh. It's pretty much a gamble at this point. I guess we can use the burn officer like we planned. Um, we definitely want a commerce boost. Even though he's not happy, he's going to have to do it. I'm sorry. And then the last one... I got nothing here for the last one. Minus 50 corruption. Ooh. 7%. It's not that high. Not high, maybe. Still 7. So the underling is still doing its job. 50% will probably wipe out most of the corruption. Honestly, we just need another industrial boost here. Alright, this doesn't make sense to have. We want her in the army now. We need to get our sentinels into good level ups. Maybe Hansui can work towards that goal, because his retinue is too good to come onto the field. He just needs one more level. Well, he's not close. Uh, but you can still work on it. Yeah, this is probably more beneficial. Once it's activated, I think it goes to like maybe 1-2%. I don't know what the total percentage of uh, corruption reduction we have right now is. Uh, who should... Yeah, the thesis, I guess we'll just use a Burn Officer here as the third army. Alright, so they're holding still. We can pop them out to heal. They're one turn away from wiping them out. I don't know where we're putting where we're summoning Samai's army, but we're definitely summoning them somewhere. And that's pretty much it. Taosol's huge, even in the north too. Hmm. But I guess it's because they have the legacy of Wu Quest, so maybe that's where they're gaining the prestige. But then again, he's not dying to reckless luck, so I don't know what's going on. Um. Right, reckless conqueror. I don't remember what level that is, but um, it's not running out of luck, that's for sure. Alright, we can trade with him. I would love that. I don't want to fight you. Let's be good neighbors. Ooh. 85. 300? Alright, 295. 4. Alright, we're maxed out in trade. Pretty good. Ooh, Ha Empire is our vassal. That could be a lot of free land, but we could just wreck them. Alright, we don't actually have to. They're the green they're the green faction. The the this color. We can just take this. I don't want to annex them. That's too messy. Zhu Fu. Oh, small faction. Are you in a city? How much do we have to pay? We can make this work. Right. We're going to make this work. It's just a matter of money. That we can definitely afford. Let's not be too stingy. We can definitely afford it. And give him some food too. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's not going to be too much. Yeah, he's poor. He's a poor faction. He's not going to ask for too much. There we go. And then we're going to force them into a peace deal. I'm sure they will agree. No one wants to fight us. Alright, one vassal secured. Alright, there's just small factions. Gong Sun Zan. They're at war with Sun Ce, so I don't want to mess with them. Alright, we already forced them into a peace deal. What land are they on? Rice Paddy. Hmm. See, that we want to take. So, no deal. We can also talk about stuff like incorporating him into our empire. I guess he doesn't want to do that. 
，今日还有何妖言？啊、uh, ，Is it because we have a coalition we can't actually form an empire? Right. Before you propose this, you must be a member of a coalition, right? Because he's in a coalition, that's why. I think there's a way for us to transform our coalition into、uh, empire. It's possible, I think. Right, transition into a. It's just that they have to agree, right? But he's not agreeing right now, so we can't do it. We could add more members and force them to agree, but like I like vassals. I like vassals. Good. We vassalize him in Wuling. We have the counties, so that's good. Once we conquer, let's say Fuling, we can give it to him as well. Perfect. And I think coalitions. What we don't get any bonuses for vassals. I think it has to be either alliance or coalition. But it's fine. The bonus is very, very, very small. All right. We got another one here. Twenty percent cavalry,、uh, melee cavalry upkeep. Range damage, range firing rate. That sounds pretty good. Range armor piercing. I guess we just get all the corruption ones, right? There's no reason not to get them now that we have a bigger and bigger empire. So all the purple ones, all the faith and folly. All right, Samai's army is coming out next turn. We're just spying right now. Speaking of spying, we actually have to do some real spying. All right, she's max points in undercover network. We're not gonna get assassination going on. Sun is very, very angry now. If we do a faction-wide move, sun's available. We turn the sun. All right, we're gonna turn him. We're gonna get him to our side. We're gonna extract him. That way, mom can guarantee to stay as heir. That's definitely a plan. But we're gonna look at the other factions first. All right, sure. Wolf faction has some defecting going on because they see that the end is near. That's his son. That could be heir. Hmm. All right, we're stealing the sun first. We're just gonna take him out. It's plus two, plus twelve. I think it's just plus twelve. If it's just plus twelve, we can't. We could do this before we leave. Let us see the. Hold on, let me see the character list. There we go. <laughs> He can also work on the mom. The two spies don't know they're each other's spy. That's the fun part. All right, we can wreck Zhang Lu a little bit. She's also interesting because she has a great armor. Do we have any other sons? Any Liu in here? No. Good. We cut off all routes. All right, we're gonna mess with Zhang Lu. Ah、uh, no, we're just gonna take him out. Maybe he's a sentinel with the industrial in,、uh, exploitation. There we go. We popped him right out.、Uh, he'll come back in a turn. He has it. Good. We'll have him working on、uh, assignments. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. That's a score. Um, we'll build up some of this. Feels like it's plus zero, plus zero right now. Does that mean we can actually try this next turn? Right, it's not asking us to increase it anymore.、Uh, this is plus ten, plus ten with、uh, Cao Cao. <laughs> we messed with every single sun.、Um, Yue Jin. Alright, we can drop him to twenty-four, and then we drop another faction Whitehead. It would be pretty hard.
he bounced back. He's still reminiscing about it. Yeah, it's hard to mess with them to the point where like we, we need a lot of points because we need to hit them with the discredit faction and the discredit character for 40 points. Hmm. Right, then he will be 14. So maybe we'll just save some points for now, invest them all together. Similar to this option here, I guess. Anyone? No one. Oh, he's a weak point. So we can do it through her to get the whole faction minus 10. Plus 2, plus 14. No problem. So it'll be a 17 plus 2. So we can do that. Plus 34. So we can do that next turn. And hopefully we can compound it on someone and get someone to come join us. All right, uh, going very well. Um, we have our armies just standing here. All right, we're good. Let's continue here. All right, Liu Zhang is asking us for peace. I'm happy to grant it to him because Huang Zhu is really not worth fighting over anymore. But I think we have to peace out with Huang Zhu as well. And he only has an army standing there. So this might work out very, very well for us. We don't border him, do we? I don't think so, yeah. So we can't ask for any land. Maybe, oh, 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 never mind, never mind. Wait, 550, we'll see. yeah, we get more money. We'll just accept then. All right, Shrisia wants to invite the Han Empire to join our coalition. No, no deal, we're conquering them. All right, Cao Cao vassalizes Liu Biao. Hmm, Cao Cao's getting really strong for a non-Empire player. Okay, <laughs> we're going to go destroy them too. It's going to drag us back into a war. So Huang Zhu is pieced out. So their army is stuck right here without anything to do. Anyways, that's not our problem. All right, so she's boosting a combo. He can now boost industry for us, which is great. And then we have three sets of commerce. One anti-corruption. We ideally want to find someone else who can boost industry for us. She can, but she's probably going to an army. We'll check if she's compatible with Sima Yi. If she is, then we're not going to put her in a, a commander to do assignments. We're probably going to just summon them here because we want to sail down the Pearl River. So Sima Yi first, he's the one we want to highlight. Please work well with Sa Ho Dun. Uh, you do work out with her though. Sa Ho Dun will just have to just work out with the rivalry. You guys can figure it out. He has reach. Yep. So we're going to put him as the leader. Wait, wait, wait. He can recruit crossbowmen? Hmm. Maybe just need high enough level strategists and they can all recruit crossbowmen like before. Well, since it's a burn officer, she's not going to have a retinue first. Once she hit level 4 and can recruit these white tiger raiders, we're going to let her recruit those. Um, they'll just sell up and grab one of the counties. Maybe this one. It's deserted. Spice Market. Tongwu Livestock Farm. Alright. We'll get them to do this. To get them ready faster. They will just wipe them out. Yeah. We haven't fought anyone really cool yet. Considering most of the cool characters are either in Sun Tzu's faction or they have actually escaped south to join us. Ooh. Phantom unit. Alright, occupy. We destroy the one that we didn't really care about. Okay. Done. 
Construction complete. Yeah, we gotta get another Sentinel. We might actually be able to. Huh, Chu Gong's back. Zheng Jiang's ex husband. Ooh, assassin. She's a bandit. She, she should be a bandit. But she should also be a spy. Right? Because. Wang Long's faction. Could be a spy. But I think it's worth it's worth the risk. See, she has a year gap. So I feel like she's not a spy. But I could be wrong. Oh, she joined the pool last year. She didn't join this turn, so she could definitely be a spy. Um, yeah, if she had this one, commanders can also boost industry. All right, speaking of that, don't we have commanders here that could potentially boost? No, don't have it. Well, she's in the army. She's not coming out. Right, we don't have that many commanders. Surprise, surprise. All right, we could use another strategist. I'll just grab her. We're, like, so wealthy, it doesn't really matter for us at this point. All right, we'll just... Keep our eye out all around. No one's really looking at this group, which is a little concerning. They need to get to the river. Pop back out. Heal. They'll start moving next turn. This army can start coming back. I don't want to fight Cao Cao yet. The spy game is pretty fun. Liu Bell is now his vassal. We can take Changsha, but I don't want to mess with the Yellow Turbans either. We want to keep them friendly and raid them. Well, we can wipe them out. Right, we can wipe them out. So, let's hop back into the river here. We'll march. We'll march, actually. And then, we got to trespass someone. We'll trespass the yellow turbans. They won't mind too much. At least they won't complain about it. Right, come here just to visually look cooler. Uh, army set up down here. Buildings all set up. Rebellion. It's not a big deal. We might want to just tweak. This doesn't change. Um, this doesn't actually change our public order. Hmm. I guess we'll just fight the rebels. We'll pull some army away from the loot boosting. All right, she's back at 100. We'll try to assassinate again, because it hasn't been asking us to increase. Worst case scenario, we reset. Best case scenario, we're the new leader. We're the new leader. We killed him. A bribe of alcohol and a concealed blade was all that was needed. I mean, honestly, we're the wife. We don't even need a bribe of alcohol and concealed blade. Just stab him a knight. Use that zanzi. This thing right here, it's called a zanzi. To hold your hair with your hat. It's very sharp. So he's dead. We're emperor now. Impress, Impress, and uh, let's see what's going on here. Is he doing okay? First of all, we don't want him to leave the faction. Yeah, he's fine. All right, we can now hit them first with a discredit faction. This is our first move. Anyone will do. There we go. Plus ten, plus ten. And then in the next two turns, we'll hit them again with 
will target someone. We'll just build a network for now. Actually, we could do this. I think it's plus two, plus 12. All right, who's low? Yeah, I don't think anyone's low enough to actually for us to steal them. Hmm, he hired a bunch of guys, including Li Dian. Tall Tall's character. Yeah, everyone we want is not available. So we'll just do this. A lot of unhappy faces, but not the right faces. All right, nothing's changed. Uh, we finished the assassination attempt, though. Finally killed off the Emperor of Xun. So now they're truly our puppet and kingdom. Uh, but let's continue here next turn. All right, Cao Cao instigates a proxy war. Okay. Ooh, Yuan Shu and Cao Cao teaming up. That could be dangerous. We have ascended to Empress. All right, we have a few new characters at court. Where did she come from? Coron. Oh, there's a big gap though. There's a big gap, so she's not a spy, I think. She doesn't have what we're looking for though, so that's no good. Hmm, nice of you to level up. Uh, maybe we should have gotten that one. And we don't need you to have this anymore either, because you're doing assignments now. Um, Rebel's going to spawn here soon. Wait, maybe we can level her up. Yeah, she's close. Right, we can get her to level up and then get her to do what we want her to do. Maybe we'll summon some other guys back to farm rebels. Maybe we'll summon him back. Don't buy is pretty important too. We'll grab the more relevant characters. Alright, we'll take him as well. And then we'll summon two random ones to make up for their loss after we do assignments. Oh, we did all we did do all the assignments. Okay, then never mind. Uh, wrong button. We'll summon him. Hmm. I want higher level people. Because they're not actually gaining experience standing here. Humble and stubborn in the same turn. Interesting. Oh? Zhang Lu. What are they doing all the way out here? That could be a problem, because we're going to go attack their vassal. But they might not defend them. That's another thing. We might not have to worry about it. Alright, we're going to trespass this way to not trespass on Liu Biao. Alright, we, we want to just go here first. Look, we have full vision on this kingdom, because we now technically control it. We have her son in our faction as hostage. So if we talk to her... Now, how do we get into a good side here? 
with them. She inherited all the bad stuff. We have many tricks up our sleeves. See, once she gets enough points, we can trigger a civil war to break the kingdom, making it easy to take control of them again. They're basically our pet now. We have a lot of say over what they do. So she's just going to be stored here for now. Alright, let's see if we can actually hit someone. Oh, sorry. Should be down to 25. That's not low enough. Oh, he'll be down to negative 4. Oh, but he hit, got hit by a recent event already. Oh, so close. Any chance? Hmm. How come none of your guy want to defect? I mean, I'm going to hit... I'm gonna, Wait, it's messed up again. Hold on. Sometime it doesn't show the character list. We can drop him to 24, but I don't think that's going to do anything. I'm going to waste some points on him in case something magical happens. Plus 14. Oh, that's not enough. We're going to get in trouble. All right, we're not going to have enough cover. So I guess we just wait. All right, spy actions done. Nothing to build. They got to move. Um... We'll have them walk a turn because they need to heal. They will march. We have. We're good for seven more turns. Alright, how long will it take us to get over here? Two? Three? Three turns to attack. No, maybe four. Because we land here too. And I don't think we can walk that far. Alright. That's a city. Alright, I don't care about the city. I want the spice market. So this is also four turns. We'll do that. Uh, this army is good. Yeah, this army is good. And then we're waiting to summon a new army to farm the rebels next turn. Alright, we're good to go. Let's continue. Alright, we got an interesting development. Liu Bei's alliance of the lotus tree with Kong Rong has declared war on us. I have no idea why, but sure. Alright, so finally, after running a peaceful retirement home down south, Liu Bei and them started to attack us, which means... Uh, we just want the item. Which means... Oh, got armor. Which means the Wu has something to do. Because they're going to be sailing down river. We could sail up. We honestly could. They want trouble. We'll give them trouble. We'll arrive in the fishing port in three turns. We'll attack on the fourth. Alright, so our new army is going to be summoned over here. Because we got to farm rebels and we also got to defend over here. I'm glad they get along and don't buy needs level. I'm glad they all get along. Perfect. He might want to lead though. Nah, doesn't have reach yet. But eventually he has reach. And I think if he leads, he gets... No. The army gets replenishment anyways. Hmm, we're good. There's one thing we haven't been doing though. We have a bunch of faction-wide items and we haven't actually given them to our faction-wide characters. I just realized that.
Like, we have sets. Like, Lady Yen's holding on to this, but we don't need her to be holding on to this. Hold on. We have the Celestial Sphere set. Alright, so let's modify this situation a little bit. Right. And that set is paired with what item? Diviner. So who has the diviner? Oh, there's two diviner. Alright, I guess Jashu will lose his. We'll give you this to compensate. So that's one set. And who else is a... So we'll get that item on them. Lubu. Guo Si. Luo Jun. Alright, that's fine. What is Lubu using? Wow, terrible items. So we're going to steal this from your wife and give it to you. Uh, hold on. Where is she? We're just going to remove. We're going to remove this as well. Get both of these to Lubu instead. You can have some extra loot. Alright. And Guo Si. That's actually a good item for him. Um, that's in the right hand. That's in the right hand. Okay, I think we're decently good elsewhere. Okay, we just gotta get those two sets on the characters. And then we should be fine. Alright, we're still going after purple ones. We have most of the purple ones. There's one here, five turns. And there's one here, three turns. So we're gonna get this, and this also gives replenishment. Alright, more stuff that no one really can wear. <laughs> yeah, we do have some Vanguard. Well, actually, we'll give it to him first. He's terrible. Maybe we shouldn't give it to him. He's a, like a weak character. He was at least a region once. Yeah, he has good ones. Alright, we're good. Uh, Lubu is selling up to deal with the war. We have another new army here. Uh, we dropped the army limit, which is interesting. We had 25. Now we're at 24, I believe. It's because we put Sima Yi out there. Onto our leadership role. Alright, they're kind of just defending this region. Alright, we got to quickly trespass. And get into a war with them. How do we not trespass any farther? Let's get onto this road. And then we'll go this way. What about these folks? Alright, he's healed up. So this is a weaker army. They're going to go after this still up deserted area. And we'll pass it to our mercenary lord for points. Alright. And we'll, we'll go here. Yeah, rebels next turn. We're ready for that. I still can't believe they declare war on us. Okay, not too bad. Most people don't like us. That's not surprising. Oh, why don't we improve relationship? There we go. We'll, we'll slowly bounce us to positive. That's a good goal. Plus 10, plus 10, we can do it again. 
All right, we can drop him to 10. That's actually pretty significant. All right, he might actually leave. Ooh, Cao Zhang is really angry. Please leave. Please turn code on your dad. Come on, you can do it. I, I believe in you. We don't need a double agent in the faction. The leader is ready ours. Alright, for you, lots of points. Do something with them. Alright, it's so a display issue. Show us the people. There we go. Do they already have recent? They already have recent, so we gotta hit a character. Don't care about him. He's at 26. Alright, we'll drop him. Alright, we'll drop him. Alright, there we go. Um, I think we moved all the armies. Yep, let's continue. Alright, Ma Tung has died and Ma Chao has taken over. Good for him. Yuan Tan has finally got destroyed. Our spy got killed. They killed their empress. I'm so shocked. Did she die in battle? Did she... I don't think... What? They... Our spy. No. Uh. So much for our long-term plan. Yuan Tan's in the pool. We can grab him. Mm. All right. I guess we'll invest in a spy for Coron's faction. We're actually fighting them. Ah, okay. I see plus how many points? 13. Okay. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 generals on the field. Maybe minus 1. That's at least 4 armies. Oh, Jiang Qin. He's a bandit character. Um, Sun Tzu can get him. Alright, we'll just cool them down for a little bit. Yuan Tan. Well, welcome to the retirement house. Liu Bei finished you? Well, he we hate him too. The unfavored son. Oh, I love it that they call him the unfavored son. Yeah, your dad basically asked you to go to Qingzhou to get rid of you. Well, you got good items. Join the party here. Our contract is dying. That's fine. Lu Bu is sailing up. Let's go. Attack. Wait, why can't we move? There we go. Ooh. Sun Tzu is wiping out Yuan Shu. Oh, he's snatching up all these land. Alright, this is a piece of cake. Alright, they're good. Alright, now I think we can not trespass and get over here. And then we'll attack them. 
万物时节，此计着实难行。Okay, they can attack next turn. They also own this, so they'll come and grab that. Our contract's gonna bounce back. Great. Ooh, oh, but she's a she's a administrator. She will never be on assignment. So then we want population growth. Items, items, items. Um, Liu Bu is gonna grab his wife's old set. And then the combo that boosts uh, set bonus is gonna go to Sima Yi with the Diviner plus the Celestial Sphere, which will give us 10% character experience bonus. Great. We have a few assignments available. All right, commerce boost. In this, oh, this has to, this has to go to. Jian Ye, because he actually has more industry. You can probably get rid of this. Nanhai, how much are we actually reducing it by for Han Sui? Oh, it goes to zero, so we save five percent. Man, we need people to level up. That's what we need. All right. Anyways, uh, they're good. They're good. Pretty much playing the spy game every turn. None of the sun want to flip. I don't know if we should cultivate a new one there. I right, already did this. We're good. Um, yeah, I think we're solid. Kong Sun Zan, Zhang Yan. Zhang Yan, really? Want to be our vassal? How much? What if we guarantee this? We can pay for him to be our vassal. He's pretty strong. Global rank ten. That's pretty good. And he's not the type to like backstab you. All right, we're gonna buy vassals. That's one way to gain land. We can offer some food. Maybe not that many. He doesn't feel. I don't feel like he needs that much food. Oh, there we go. Seven's ideal, and the rest we'll just do per turn payment. Add a zero. Seven hundred. All right, we got Gong Sun Zan as our vassal. Mediate peace, no problem. Yellow per yellow turbans. Yuan Shao. All right, fingers crossed. No one crazy. Oh, okay, good, good, good. All right, everyone chilled and didn't. We didn't think about that. That could have been dangerous if Sun Ce declared war on us. I guess we can just vassalize the high empire. Like the bigger our empire is, the more difficult it is for us to control corruption, because we are bandits. So we basically just have to be strong. They're still alive, so it feels like it's hard to get them to join us. Now, it's, uh, maybe we don't want to mess with Cao Cao. Okay, way too many factions. Okay, maybe maybe we got pretty lucky there. We're gonna just stick to that. They still have land. Oh, they shouldn't have gone north. These aren't part of our contract. Th these two are our contract. We should just stuck to our contract. Anyways, sad, but that's fine. Yeah, maybe we don't need to vassalize or fix Shrisia situation. We can keep them as a coalition member. All right, that's it. Now we can continue. All right, Sun Tzu wants to break a non-aggression pack with us. Sure thing. Weapon. 
So, you know, we're worried that Swinsel will attack us, right? All we got to do is make sure we wrap up our current contract and get into a contract with Swinsel right away. Ooh, he's a bandit. He's a bandit. Huangzu, 208. Okay, we can recruit him, no problem. Right, we can get into another mercenary contract with him and he won't hate us. And we'll be fine. Well, that's how much movement we have because of the excess loot. That's the downside of excess loot. So we can't move. This doesn't give us any points. It's not the same faction. But we do like a lumber yard. I believe, I believe Bamboo once gives range unit upkeep discount, and we have tons of range units, so that makes sense. Tom was also a great commander to keep. Um, Alright, next turn we'll get some points. We need them to get to that spice market. But then there's also this one to attack, and then this one to attack. This helps us heal. They are sitting pretty. Alright, we want to get into a war with them. They're protected by... Kingdom of Shun, who we don't really care about entering into a war with. Oh, we can't switch. So we're just going to trespass and declare war next turn. Might be an actual fight worth showing. Um... Now, the problem is Emperor Shun's right here, so they'll try to take our land. So maybe we can do something fun. Maybe we can negotiate a deal with Hal's Halt. Right, the fun thing is we can swap. And Toolmaker for us is super good because it gives us uh, reduced recruitment costs faction-wide. Tosal's not that rich. He only has 6,000 gold. Wow, but he's super greedy. I mean, we can afford it. Just how can you be so greedy? Look at that. Wow. 30k. 30k. I'd rather give him bronze weapons. We all, we also have one of those. I'd rather not give him money, this much money. Alright, let's do this. The purpose of this move is to get close to this. And then we do a swap here for... Oh, uh, we can't? Wait, we clearly border it. We clearly border the weapon craftsman. Wait, Huangzu was alive? I thought he was dead. Maybe next turn. I wanted to do another flip. Oh, no, no, no. We'll do research rate. It's not going to be much income here. Okay. Keep sailing. All right, all our armies moved. Gongsunzai has someone who's willing to turn. Uh, nothing crazy. I don't think this is a wife. Just the armor doesn't look like a wife armor. All 
Right, no one too crazy. Um, she is in the army. Alright, maybe we want line of sight. I don't know how much plus um, undercover network it would be. Could be dangerous. I mean, if it doesn't work out, we can always just cancel. Whose army? We want to know where Coral's army is. Plus 14. Ouch. We'll just cancel. Plus 10, plus 10. We don't have enough points. Oh, it's only plus 5 for that now. Okay, so we could do this. Again. So a ton of it. We're, we're, we're getting his people really angry at him. But we're not getting them to flip yet, which is sad. Oh, oh he's going to flip. Minus 30 is going to make him to negative 1. Taljong going to leave dad. We finally did it. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Everyone's so happy with him. Except for these guys who I don't really care about. He has so many characters. Ling Tong. Hmm. Never mind. We'll just save the points for faction wide. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're good. We moved all the armies. We did all the spies. Do we have all the assignments in place? Because I think some of them timed out. Nope, we're still good. Let's just continue. Alright, Aid Master. He wants to help us fight. I mean... He's willing to pay us, basically. Sure. I mean, we'll get the gold. He's not really going to impact this fight. Alright, so the Alliance of the Hush Wind is attacking him. And he wants our help. So that's... Hmm. Weird factions. But I think we're okay with this. Alright. Peaced out. Uh, it's just Zhang Yan and Zhang Yang. No problem. Okay. So that's Koron's army. So we didn't need the assignment to see them. Lumberyard's better. Because we kind of master how to defend Lumberyards. So we're going to try to grab that first. Surprise! Didn't think you guys declare war on me and I'll just sit back. We strike Liu Bu's back to claim the Xu province. Well, Xu, Xu province is over here. I guess this is the Qing province, but we'll get both. You know, nothing's stopping us from doing that. Uh, diplomatically, I kind of want to know who we actually got into a war with. Oh, just the north. Yeah, just the north. No problem. All right, let's wrap up some fighting over here. Uh, contract is dying, but they can make sure that it doesn't die. We're going to gift it because we don't want this city. Cao <laughs> Cao. Uh, he can't turn on us because we're in a contract. We'll give him a land in the south. This is going to be, this is going to be interesting in the long run. But we don't want that commandery. Now, with that time bought, we're going to come here and grab that. So I think a strategy we're going to do is instead of passively have so many armies here. We're going to shift some of them to Tangwu, spark a rebellion, get rid of the town so that it's Yellow Turban, and then that way we can declare war on Yellow Turban and grab it, because we do want it. Alright, we just need to grab that piece of land. We'll pop them. They don't need healing, they're all full health. Alright, back into the river. 
Oh, actually, we are partners here. That's our coalition. We didn't take a town, so we can still move. Alright. Bought us a few turn here. Oh. She got the level up that she needed. Which means we can cancel her and get her to do the right thing, which is industry income. We can pick a new reform. Uh, we got all our purple ones, I believe. Except for this one. Alright, so we'll get this. Kind of max out our corruption reduction. I think it's 9 purple ones, which is 45%. Plus 15% here for 60%. And then the rest depends on what items we have and what traits we have. So we could technically be running near 100% corruption reduction faction wide, simply because if we have enough like honest trait, right? He's he has honest, so minus five, or at least he has an item minus five. So that's another minus ten. So we're minus seventy from reforms, seventy-five. So we're minus 75. And there's 2% here, 77. And then our underlings is minus 20. So that's minus 97 all commanders that we fully control. So that's why we're not really going to suffer much. All right, it's going to be super low. Yeah, pretty good. Um, we might pull back a couple of these guys to go to Tongwu a bit later. Right now, not really our concern. We're going to let them just take their time. To grab these. Nothing to build. Oh, we at that swap deal. Right, these guys. Declare war. What? This is crazy. Are, is he asking for help to declare war against ourselves? What is this logic? Oh, 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 no, no, they're just telling me they requested, they requested help from their uh, vassal master to fight us. That makes sense. I, I was so sorry, I was confused. So our vassal is getting attacked by Huangzu. So we're at, we're gonna help definitely. All right, we went we went to war. Let's see with who. Them, Kingdom of Xun, Huangzu. Yeah, no big deal. Not a big deal. Now, can we get this trade though? Why, why can't I why can't I flip with you? Come on, that is clearly neighboring right there. Liu Bao, you're gonna end up forcing me to attack you. Oh, you're with Cao Cao. Huh, never mind. You found yourself a boss to take care of you. Oh, but we wanna save this fight for next episode. It's a little complicated fight. Or we just run a little long because I don't have another save point. <laughs> yeah, I don't have another save point. All right, this episode is just going to run a bit long then. Unless we can do something spy-wise. No, I don't think any of these action actually grants us a save. I think his son ditched him. I think his son leaves the faction. Li Shao. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Not much we can do. We want to discredit faction, doesn't matter who, someone, someone. 
someone question mark there we go plus 7 plus 14 so these things change all right he's good I guess we do have to fight we do have to fight for a save point Alright, we haven't fought in a long time, and the game think we're gonna lose. Uh, we're gonna show them. Ooh, pearl dragons. Fun. Let's kill them. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in here. Uh, they're in this defensive formation, which is a little awkward. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're gonna do is hide our units in the back for now. They're invisible, stock, snipe. Uh, there's no reason to engage them. Uh, the key here is to hide these two. Remember, if we hide them, the enemy troops will stack in the back, and we have free entrance to the door with Yan Bai Hu, who is invisible to them. So, let's go. Alright, free take. Now, once they see start taking, they will know and they'll come out for sure. But that's that will be too late. And they imagine poison volley down these aisles. Oh, they shot us. We we expose ourselves too fast. We go a little bit. All right, let's go face off with people coming this way. Let's get to this high ground. So we have vision on people coming. So they're they're at the flag in the back and they're going to start coming cuz they see us capture their gate. And then we just fire down this uh narrow valley here. They probably sent some men down that valley too. But we'll take whatever we get. They're way in the back though, so it might take them a while to show up. That armor really slows him down. Maybe we should downgrade his horse so he actually has more speed. All right, minus 10% speed on the armor. That's what's really hurting him. These two, she's a 95 with no horse, which is basically what you want to kite with poison arrows. They might come down here too. We want to go find them, obviously. It'd be really funny if they don't if they don't come out and they're just all piled up here, all their units. Then we, can have... then we can have some fun shots. Let's go a little faster. The commandos are infiltrating the rice paddy. Now, let's turn here. And then go here. Even if they're here, we get better shots in this narrow corridor. Where are they? And we're talking about 2,500 men hiding in these narrow corridors. Right, let's slow down, slow down. We're about to make that turn. We're about to find out visually. Oh, we see some units. All right. They are all just sitting pretty here. Alright, we're not dueling. We should have sent Yan Bai Hu first. He would be invisible. Alright, we'll get a nice volley right here. Stop, stop moving us. Right, we, we fake charge. So they stop charging us. So that she has time to get four volleys down and then we just leave we just chill for a little bit 
Right, the poison don't stack. It's a full minute. No point to get Yan Bai Hu to shoot another volley. So they're all here. We can make a turn here. Oh, look at this scream. Alright, time to go. We're gonna twist around, find a better angle. So they didn't care that we captured the gate. I really like this village. He's so slow. Alright, Yan Bai Hu's turn. He can invisible here. They won't see him. They shouldn't see him. They see him though, but they shouldn't. Doesn't matter. Get a nice volley on this pearl dragon right here. Uh, maybe we should have hit the center. That's okay, that's a key unit to hit anyways. Alright, since they see us, just get everyone here. It's been a while since we did this. We haven't had to fight a battle for a while. I forgot how enjoyable it was to shoot these things. The poison's doing their work. Oh, they got scratched and they're dying. Basically, we killed the spear, killed the pearl dragon, killed the cavalry, and we're good. Don't care about the rest. The infantry. Are they actually going to charge us? If you're not, we're charging you guys. Alright, alright, alright. Stop charging. We're good. We're good. Oh, no, no, no. Not that close. Not that close. There we go. Uh. Oh, he got the shot up. Two, three, four. Oh, nice. Didn't get interrupted. I thought we were going to get interrupted for sure. What we could do is actually dismount and kill these guys. Or, if they're not going to brace, we just charge into them and kill these guys. Get a little heal. Armor and melee evasion. Kill off these guys pretty easily. We got legendary blades on everyone, except for him. He has legendary armor. Alright, show up over here. I don't even think we need to fire Poison Volley at them. Oh, they're marching out. Maybe our units will actually have something to do. Alright, they're done. Are you guys going to charge at us? Also got too f afraid. I don't blame you guys. You guys are just malicious. Oh, they're gonna. Okay, they're routing because of the nearby routing units. Oh, but they're braced, they're braced. We wanna be careful here. Turn around, run, or charge at us. Do something. Don't just stand here. Be braced. 
Oh, they're done. They're done. They just routed. They did something. They just routed. Are they actually charging out or are they just going to the door? Oh, even the pearl dragons are routing. Here, you're too slow. Capture the point for us. Alright, capture their point. Drop their morale by 10 more. I wonder if it's still 10 points. Did they change this too? Oh, we can't check really morale impact unless we click on enemy unit. Hmm, doesn't show. It doesn't show the morale drop. Which is interesting because I know it should be a morale drop for capturing the center. Anyways, charge. Are they actually coming out? They're not. Well, the building can't see us either. Do they realize that? The towers don't see us. So we can kind of shift and get shots on them. We need to catch up so we can get a nice volley. He's still invisible. Run, 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 run. He's the fastest. But how, somehow he's leading. Oh, fatigue immunity. See, fatigue kicks in. The slower guy is faster, the longer the battle goes. See, they're beat, but he's fresh. Alright, we don't we don't have a good angle yet. We want a great angle here. Alright, by the time we run to here, I think we should have a good shot. Oh. If they want to fight. Hold on. Obviously we don't want to hit the brace units. I don't think Pro Dragon has um charge reflect, but these guys do. Spear Warriors. Alright, now they're dead. Oh, they're just gonna route. We just gotta go up to them, use scare basically. And then their morale's just gonna tank. And then they're just gonna route. And it's basically tra chain routing at the door as one group route with each other. And then we just get close with scare. Negative three. And they just route. Negative 27. Just gotta do some casualty to them so they shatter. And then they see more people shattering and they're just like, everyone shattering. And then we apply the scare and then... Okay. This is such a tragedy. We chase them from the inside to the outside. They're not fire? Wait, she didn't fire. The cavalry is still strong. Oh, they're poisoned though. Look at them trying to run out of the settlement. But they don't know there's invisible archers shooting at you as they... Uh, they're stuck between poison volley or poison arrows. Alright, that's the only tough fight here. And we can boost our armor and melee evasion for that one. Anyone with Unbreakable here? They got an internal rivalry going on. Alright, we're gonna go, go here. Stand, stand, stand still. Ah, oh, it's over. Alright, we're gonna get a few more shot into them. And then watch them get killed as they try to escape. We'll switch to regular arrow for more damage actually and faster firing rate.
They still haven't spotted our units yet. She's probably going to. But we're not shooting generals because AI is like wasting arrow on generals. This guy's trying to get out. It's like, get us out of the rice paddy. They got three crazy guys inside. And then little do they know, once they climb this hill, everyone dies. No one gets past this hill. It's a sad day. They got they got seven pearl dragons who made it all this way out. But they got more army inside. We'll just kill these pearl dragons and then we'll end it. Such elite units. Absolutely murdered. Alrighty, we absolutely wrecked them. That was a very fun battle. Very, very clean battle too. And we're just gonna occupy and take the rice paddy. And a very well deserved level up. What should we give you? This is pretty useless. Um, that's pretty useless. We don't really need any more loot. We already have so much loot. 25% running speed will help. Will definitely help him a lot. There we go. Alright, so with that, uh, we're going to end our episode here. Uh, we have uh, finished the war with the faction we wanted to start the war with, but we have all his old vassal masters still uh, with us. Uh, we'll peace out with them somehow. They can't really bother us. They're pretty far away. Um, we do have a few of their armies near our locations, but we purposely swapped out these locations just to stay away from this army. Oh, it's only a silver armor. I thought it was a gold one. Anyways, it's been a long enough episode. Uh, we have a vassal here. We have a vassal here. We're going to give him more land in the future. Have a coalition member wiping out some small faction down south. And then we'll eventually make our way uh, out west and into the northwest. Get our emperor seat and win this campaign. Uh, we had too much fun with the spies. And... Uh, Income is still supplied by a steady stream of generals with Sima Yi's infinite loot. Yep, and Lu Bu has landed. So more fun things up ahead. See you guys next time. Bye!